Well, as you can see, my corn is up and doing well, looking good. Some of it's about 12 inches tall, but it is planted way too thick. Uh, I used my Earthway planter with the corn plate on it, but some of these super sweet corn kernels are so small now that when the uh, plate comes around to pick up a seed and drop it, it picks up two uh, because they're just small. Two, of them, two or three will fit in the hole. I've got a lot of places like right there on the very last one, the very end, that will, uh, that's got three or four right there. So now that was probably my problem starting it off. But anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is pull, is thin out the corn, but as I'm doing it, I've also got, as you can see, some thin places. That's some got some weedage in there, but not cornage. And so I'm going to thin out the corn, but I'm also going to replant uh, some of my thinnings. And I thought I was going to do it at first. I thought I was going to do it with a spoon, but I, I brought out my hoary hoary knife and think that will do a real good job. So let me get after it and show you what I'm doing. Uh, I'll be thinning out corn that's that's packed, uh, planted too tightly together, and some of them will go into the dead spots where there is no corn. Uh, and there's a good example of it right there. It's right, right there. Corn stops there, and I really got about two more feet of row there, and I'll I'll uh, put some in there. So let's so what I'm doing is coming in there and and pulling up the. Um, the crowded one, the one that's kind of in the wrong place, and putting it in a, if there's a, a, a gap for it, there's not a whole lot of gaps here, it planted, planted very thick, but uh, if there was a gap, uh, then I placed it in the gap and uh, transplanted it. And one reason these are close together, one reason I'm leaving some of them pretty close together is that I do have drip tape. If you don't have drip tape, you probably need to plant your corn about eight, uh, more like 12 inches apart, 8 to 12, and I would say if you're not going to water very often, then 12. Corn is a heavy feeder. Corn is a, it needs a lot of water too. So you don't want them crowding out each other, searching for food, searching for water. So anyway, uh, this is the, the after. Uh, you'll see a bunch of them, corn laying in the aisles there. Because again, I just didn't have a lot of, a lot of places to put, uh, a lot of gaps to put the corn in. But I did a few and, you know, stepped on it real good with my foot and, and kind of stomped it in and made sure it had good contact with the ground. And um, so anyway, we'll see how this works. And uh, for sure it needed thinning. And uh, I think kind of um, uh, replanting some of it was a decent idea. Now, will it take? I don't know. You know, the, the problem with thinning corn, I noticed I've got two or three over here that I did not do. So I'll just show you here. The problem with thinning corn is when you pull this one up, the, the roots can be intertwined with this one. So what I was doing was putting that knife between them. And as I pulled up on it, maybe I can do this. One. As I pulled up on it, that knife was kind of cutting the roots off to where I wasn't, I was kind of you know, holding it to where I wasn't um, tampering with that root. Same here. Those are pretty close together. I don't know how this. Then probably got tired. But that's got a good root system, you know. That could, I think, could go back in the ground. Don't see why that would not be viable in the ground. And there, I just know there's two. Now, see, that's going to be. I don't have my tripod right now, but that's going to be one that I'm going to need to put the knife in between and then pull on one of them, so I don't get. Um, because I'm sure those roots are intertwined. But just be careful when you're uh, thinning corn. Um, try not to pull up uh, the one next to it. Or try not to damage too much of the roots on the one next to it. So that's uh, what I did here. And again, I think a great stand of corn. This is temptress corn. Never planted it before. It is a quad sweet. I planted a lot of triple sweet. Uh, mostly from Haas. Uh, last year I planted Primus and um, peaches and cream and something else i'll remember it and put it right there on the screen i bet you and um and they did great well we're still eating on them we put up pulled about 200 ears put up around 130 150 something like that 
and I uh, gave some away and I gave some in the shuck away so I think I gave at least 30 or 40 away so I'm thinking right at 200 maybe not quite uh, off uh, four five six rows six about 40 foot rows and that's that's I think that's a lot of corn so uh, I attribute it to just good fertilization this is good dirt this is dirt that uh, that I put wood chips on for years and years and years I had about two feet of wood chips piled on this for a long time till it just finally composted down to where it's just uh, just became compost and uh, so I'm planting it now and it's it really looks good I hadn't put on wood chips on this in a long long time but uh, but it what I did do here uh, just transform this hard hard clay soil and um, I was just just ecstatic because for years this old red dirt will grow a lot of food but you just can't work it you can't run a plow through a hand plow through there and when you till it it's like tilling concrete sometimes if it's if it's dry but this is just uh, just so pliable I came in here and hoed uh, with, with my cultivator between the rows you know between the rows oh two or three days ago and um, I, I didn't get real close to the plants and all this stuff you see in the corn all that uh, all that stuff you see right there that will get covered up when I heal so I'm not worried about that right now because I'm just going to go in and when I heal it I'll cover all that up and do away with that I'm sure all right my battery is running low so am I <laughs> all right I better go we're gone.